So, vitamin B12 is a coenzyme that assists with DNA synthesis, which is necessary for proper formation of red blood cells. It is also essential for a healthy functioning nervous system because it helps maintain the myelin sheath that coats nerve fibers. When the sheath is damaged or absent, the condition of nerve signals is altered, causing numerous neurological problems. Lastly, it is also necessary for the metabolism of the amino acid homocysteine. Furthermore, three of the most common foods high in B12 are clam chowder, cooked Alaskan crab, and special K cereal. Clam chowder contains about four times the RDA of B12 for men and women in one cup. Also, cooked Alaskan crab contains three times the RDA of B12 for men and women in three ounces. Lastly, special K cereal contains over two times the RDA of B12 for men and women in one cup. The RDA for B12 in adult men and women is 2.4 micrograms a day. Not only is there no severe risks to intaking too much B12 naturally, but even from supplements there is no known toxicity. While vitamin B12 deficiency may be rare, it still has symptoms that can be caused by low absorption or dietary insufficiency, like anemia, gastrointestinal effects, and neurological effects. Anemia symptoms may include pale skin, diminished energy, exercise tolerance, fatigue, and shortness of breath. Symptoms of gastrointestinal effects may include loss of appetite, constipation, excessive gas, and changes in skin pigment. Lastly, neurological effects can include tingling and numbness of extremities, abnormal gait, memory loss, dementia, disorientation, visual disturbances, insomnia, and impaired bladder control. Dude, Tyler is not getting enough vitamin B12 in his diet. He's like completely tired throughout his work day. He's not getting anything done. I put all my vitamins in my protein shake right here. That's all I need. Vitamin B6, vitamin B12, you know, niacin, thiamine, all that. Phosphorus, calcium, protein, <sighs> nutrients. B12.